and no one likes him, but he's not bothered. I could be kind, you can't talk about that on air, he's that bad. Stay off TikTok. Man. Yes, people, it's your boy Ralph, and I'm back with 20 questions here at Old Trafford, and I'm joined by the one and only Andy Cole, courtesy of Wow Hydrate. What's the best advice you've been given? Work hard. And I think as, as, as you get older, people always turn around and say to you, enjoy life. Life is short. For sure. But when you're in the moment, you think, oh man, I've got so many years to go. It's like when you play football and like, you're 22, 22 or whatever. And you've got all the guys come to the end of their career and say, enjoy your career, it's only, it's only a short career. You say, oh, geez. Yeah, like, yeah, there these man go. Yeah, exactly. Shut up, man. I've got loads of time there. <laughs> you know, by the time you realise, you're retiring, man. You're saying the same thing to the young kids. They enjoy it. And now they're going to you. Oh, saying, shut oh, up, shut man. Shut up. But hey, that's what happens. That's what happens, man. Who was the fittest player at Manchester United? And he was like top of all the fitness tests. Geeksy, Bex, Yorkie. And them guys running like, look like they're not running. And then when they complete the bleep test, they're not tired. Yeah, the man make yeah, it like, look casual, like not them struggle runners, like. Yeah, they're like me. Yeah, struggling at the back. <laughs> Panting for air in that. Where would you come, what, like dead last? No way were you last in that. 100%. So. Long, long distance wasn't for me. If it sprints, I'm up the front, but long distance, I'm like, this is proper jarring, man. Fez, I'm the same. Like, I've missed like five pre seasons in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I hate running, like, just bring the balls out and I'll get my fitness that way. That's poor practice, man. Nah, I have to, that's probably why I didn't make it, man. I can't lie. I've learned to blame but me. <laughs> So, how did nutrition change from sort of like <clears throat> when you started playing, when you were pro, to like sort of towards the end of your career? How did you see it like change? Man, I, I remember obviously when I was young and um, even when I first first came to Man United, signed and it was not what these guys have now. It's like you go to a restaurant now. I mean, when you play football, you're training for an hour and a half a day, whatever. I mean, you're burning, you're burning, you're burning. So obviously today's game, you know, you got. All the drinks like wow, how Jake that obviously helped the players um, recover a lot quicker than water would. What was the last song that got stuck in your head? Is it James Blake? Is mm. it Renegade? You might have to share your yeah, playlist, you see, I don't know that one. Yeah, that, that, that tune stuck with me because I, I went through a, um, a tough time about six years ago when I first went down my kidney problem and that. And it stuck me for many different reasons. So, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Who was the biggest prankster at United? Um, most probably David May. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Mays is a legendary. What kind of pranks was he playing? Anything stupid. Well, like... Mays used to do a nonsense. Uh, Butty was up there as well. Butty did a terrible one one day. What did he do? I could, he can't. You can't even talk about it on air. It was that bad. It was very random, but when he did something, it was always funny. I mean, with, with Mays, Mays was... Mays was an animal every day, man. He was a funny dude. A current defender you would like to have faced, just to see, like, is the hype real? Van Dyke. How do you reckon I'll go that match up there? I don't know, man. I don't know, but I, I think in, in my generation, all the top defenders were like him, so, yeah. Which manager, past or present, would you like to have played under? Oh, two. Uh, Klopp, Guardiola. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, not Mourinho, you don't think that? Yeah, yeah I reckon I could do this. Yeah. Who's the biggest trash talker you played against? I didn't. I, I don't. I don't even know. Cause I took none of that nonsense. Yeah, you didn't yeah. get involved. No, I, I didn't talk to anybody on the football pitch. I didn't even talk to my teammates half the time. I, I, I played with Yorkie for a few years, and, that, and we never actually had a proper conversation on the football pitch. No way. No, no. He knew what I wanted. I knew what he wanted. So how, he how did that work? Like he just. He's, I just used to look at him. Used to look at me. <laughs> that's that's eye contact. Him. Yeah, and, and that's the way. That's the way it was. What moment in sport outside of your career gives you goosebumps? Wimbledon. Which final? What final? Or? Final, man. I just love tennis. I love, I love Wimbledon. He's your favourite tennis player? Djokovic. Yeah, not a Federer guy, Nadal, no. No, I like them, I ain't gonna lie, but Djokovic, he's got, he's got that edge. No one likes him. That's fair. He's so good at what he does, and no one likes him, but he's not bothered. Yeah, he's just He keeps bothered. winning. Yeah, yeah I, I, I like that. Who is your best friend in football, and who are you closest with? Uh, most of it, Yorkie. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Yorkie got... A, a, a very good um, understanding football and, and away from football as well. Because we, we're polar opposites, you know, but we, we'll always get on. So do you reckon that also added to 
you guys on pitch yeah, like yeah, that I'm dynamic 100%, there. Yeah, what he is, I'm, I'm definitely not. Dribble through the whole team and score. Score an overhead kick or score a volley. My team player. For the game winning goal. I'm going to dribble through everybody and lose 4 1. That's the madness. Yeah, that's, you can't even celebrate that one. I'll go win. Worst hairdryer treatment you received from Sir Alex? Maybe it's Chelsea. Yeah. What happened? I, I don't know what happened to this day. I thought I did alright. <laughs> Maybe he's just trying to motivate you. He's like, nah, he nah, can do he, better. That, that day wasn't motivating me. That day made me real vexed. I remember I got through, slipped it under the goalkeeper. Graham Lassau slid and hit him on the back of the leg. When I hit the crossbar and went over. And the game ended up 1-1. I mean, the manager was waiting for me. Wait, what did he want you to do in that situation? Like, dink it? No, i have done everything right. That's what I said to him. But he saw it totally different to me. Um, and he let me know. I was like, cool, cool, cool. Had a few words. You know, but with him, he always forgot about it the day after. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was good. He was very good that one. Who are your top three strikers in the world right now? At the peak of their powers. Lewandowski. Benzema, Benzema, oh my days. Yeah, he's my favourite striker, Benzema. I can't lie. Cold. You can see Ronaldo, the managers change, they, they've evolved their game, you know. So those, those guys as well, yeah. Cool. I'll put them all in the mix. Which striker currently playing do you reckon was most similar to your style? In today's game, whose style None. Like? None, zero. None. They ain't got it like he. No, it's not in the case that they've not got it like this. The case that the game has changed so much. I, I watched the game last night and I didn't see one centre forward try and make a run in behind. And there was 10, 15 yards of space in behind and everyone wanted it feet, feet, feet. I'm like, no, if, you, if this is the way you play football now, man, I, I could play now. I'm 52. Yeah. You know I mean, so yeah. I back it, you know. Yeah, so it's, the, game, the game's changed. <laughs> Toughest defender you played against? Uh, I think it was all tough back in the, 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 the day I played. I think at, at the level. Yeah, like I feel like back then, like defenders were defenders. Like everyone yeah. could defend, even like especially across like the Italian teams and yeah. we're all good. even some of the German defenders, even in the Premier League. Like I feel yeah. like now that's why it's noticeable when a defender's at like, real good because there aren't a lot of them. You're hitting the nail on the head. I said, I know ball, like, do you mind try, you lot try to come on to me on TikTok and say, I don't know ball. Andy said... Still TikTok now. <laughs> <laughs> when did you realise you were good enough to go pro? When was you like, yeah, I'm that guy? Um, when I was a kid at Arsenal, I used to be telling my, my youth team manager, Pat Rice, 16, 17, that I was good enough to play in the youth team. I mean, good enough to play in the first team when I was 16, 17. And they used to look at it as being arrogant or whatever, but I, I just had that... That confidence in me, that I know I was good enough to play, play then. So yeah, most of yeah, 16, 17. How did your mum help shape you as an athlete and as a person, and how important was she to your story? Oh man, you see, when I, when I was younger, and I, I, I didn't understand it until I got to a certain age, yeah, so my mum always used to say to me, I used to go on a football trip or whatever, i oh, just, please, and you just behave. I was like, no, I didn't think I was that bad. But as I got older, I realised, yeah, I was a bit of a tearaway when I was still. <laughs> Toughest away ground you've played at? In the good days, Anfield and Edinburgh. The atmosphere was electric. Is, it, is Anfield what they say it is? I've never been. You've never been? Nah. Yeah, this is my first time here. I love playing here. It's even better because I used to go there. I always used to score as well. Yeah. I, I love playing here. Last one. Greatest female athlete of all time. Yeah. It has to be the Williams sisters, Serena. It has to be with where, their background, how they've got to where they've got to, and how they've shaped the game of tennis for women. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, that was 20 questions. Andy, thank you so much Not for your problem, time. Man. Thank you.